Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode four of Flip Leagues Eastly. Lots to catch you up on, lots of games to catch you up on. I think I might have forgotten which ones we did last time. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, we are just before the January transfer window. So before we get going, let's do a financial update. I watched last episode. So I'm sorry, editor. I was a little bit disappointed. The financial updates graphics was underwhelming. So, you know, can you please fix that? That'd be lovely. Right, time for a financial update. <laughs> calculators, calculators. Financial update. Wow. Boom! 44 and a half million pounds. At the end of this episode, we are going to ask the board for more money, right? So if you want to have a little guess in the uh, comments below before you watch the rest of this episode to say how much the board are going to give us as a transfer budget... If they say if if they just say no, I'm going to be so annoyed. I'd be happy with. I think if they gave me ten million, I'd be okay with that because I want to save some money for building stadiums. We need to improve facilities as well. Actually, we could do that now. Let's improve, try and improve the facilities, and then you can make it get. That'd probably be easier because um, we need to get these because because they're shit. Okay. Good. Straight away. Bosh. Done. Youth facilities, go. Bosh, done. Wish this was this easy every time. Um, what am I doing? Um, anything else we want? Uh, so we got increase that one. Yep. Oh, come on. You've got 40 odd million in the bank. Come on. Results might suffer. Um, okay. Well, they, they've said no to that. Fine. Thank you, then. Right, 400 grand. Okay, it's not really going to make a dent, is it? Because the facility... Oh, 140 grand. Okay, we've hit that. Okay, so take your guesses now. At the end of the episode, we're going to do it. Let's catch you up on results. Um, so our, our last episode was Fleetwood and Lincoln, wasn't it? So we made a few, you know, tweaks to the tactic. Um, and it's paid off nicely. We beat 4-1 uh, We beat four one Torquay. Um, Mandy with a hat trick back in the goals. Yees of little faith saying how bad Mandy was. And J. Emmanuel Thomas with a goal. Geisley, 2-1. Thomas and Mandy, 2-0 against Dover. Ryan with a brace, our centre-back. He's actually scored about five this season already. Um, he's playing really well. Uh, Kalachan sent off. Then we beat Southport, 3-1 away from home. Uh, Magoma, Mandy and Leacock McLeod, the young left winger. Beat Barrow, 4-0. Magoma, Mandy brace and Ben Strevens. Because I called him Stevens last episode because I'm an idiot. Um, and then we beat Aldershot at 3-2. Reigns with another goal. And Ross Stern, a right midfielder, because we, we had a couple of minor injuries. Um, he's shit and he scored two goals. And then, so we're just cruising at this point. And then we got beaten 3-0 by Wrexham. Because reasons. Um, doesn't really look like, we didn't play great, but it doesn't look like a 3-0 win does it really um, but then we bounce back straight away and beat Dagenham and Redbridge 4-1 Mandy J Emmanuel Tobbus Magoma and Tyler I don't even know who this guy is Tyler Garrett oh he's the left back yeah yeah I knew that yeah I've learned my players um, very very happy with how things are going we are top of the table but it's closer than expected Lincoln are doing very well have they actually made any transfer so, yeah that that's kind of shows how shit our tactic is at the moment that they've not really made any transfers We've signed some biggish players. Um, unfortunately, we thought we had signed Glenn Johnson. Unfortunately, it was his friend John Glenson because he's he's been playing my, like ratings wise, doing fine. Just one assist. I'm hoping for a bit more from him, um, but that's disappointing. Um, we're not going to do the update yet. We have the uh, ask the board for money, so let's get the games. We're playing Bromley today on Boxing Day. Happy Christmas, everyone! And then uh, New Year's Eve, Gateshead, because you know nobody likes to go out drinking on New Year's Eve. We like to play football and run around on a pitch. Okay, so Mandy now is is doing really well. I'll show you the tactic as it's evolved. Um, we talked about it last episode. Somebody did point out that because I wanted to play a sort of an attacking midfielder. I didn't even know which what it was going to be, advanced playmaker or something. Somebody said, what about Emmanuel Thomas as an Ngonch? Just so I can say that word. But also, Ngonches are quite lazy. They just kind of sit there and wait for the ball. And his work rate is only five. So 
It's not important for an Ngonch. He's actually got good stats for it. So, well, good suggestion. Um, so, this is how we're playing at the moment. And it seems to be doing all right, apart from th that 3 0 loss. Um, other than that, it's doing all right. So, um, Ross Stern's getting a couple more games just for the fact he scored two goals and was playing really well. If we look at Reigns, five goals this season, all from corners, um, headers from corners. Just doing what he, John Terry in his heyday, basically. At this stage, if you're wondering what's on my T-shirt, it says uh, my mum thinks I'm advertiser friendly. Because th thank you, Philip Franco, for this. Not thank you. I, I bought it. It's not like he sent it to me. In fact, you should thank me. Right, they're playing a four-five-one. We can do this. Mandy's in the goals. He's a weird one, Mandy, because he's scoring plenty now. I'm happy with his performances. And, but one in every like four games, he'll just have a game where he just... It's like watching a blind person run about. You know, we play football with a bell in and stuff. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> but uh, we're hoping that this is not one of his off days. That would be lovely. Remember, this challenge isn't about really about winning the league, weirdly. Which seems strange. Um, it's about... Building a team good enough to compete with the Premiership when we get there. We're going to have a look at the details. Oh, Mandy's stolen it. Go on, Mandy. Go on. Mm. This doesn't bode well, does it? It's about getting enough players and building a good enough team with good enough facilities to then survive when the big teams arrive. Because in our experiment, they were all superb. So... It'd be great. We're going to whiz through the first few seasons. I'm going to sort of jump ahead a little bit, play like like I did before here, where we played sort of seven, eight games, zip ahead, get it done, um, and uh, see what we're like. I've also, I'm thinking, I, well, no, I'm not thinking, I am adding in an extra stipulation to the save, a new rule. Um, from now on, I am only going to sign players from the UK and Ireland. So that is... That's it, okay? So, and what I'm thinking of doing is I'm just going to, um, much like a really good prostitute, I'm just going to suck up all the good players. Oh, good finish, Magoma. I'm just going, not suck off, suck up all the good youth talents from the Premier League teams, if I can, because um, they're still going to cost a lot. But hopefully, we'll look at the finances of the clubs in the, in the um, conference, just to see, because we need that to them to start losing money and have to sell off their players. Um, I'm, so I'm just going to stick to the UK and Ireland. We're going to get under 21s, hopefully, and just smash it. And by the time, because we've got three years. So let's say you signed a really good 18-year-old. He's going to be 21 years, 22 years old and be ready for it when the big teams arrive. And also stop them having all these good wonder kids. You know, it it's, does two jobs, really. Who got the assist? Ben Strevens. Nice. Okay. Decent goal, lads. Well, we're destroying Bromley. Jesus Christ. I, I've made a couple of uh, other slight changes to the tactic, which I'll show you. Um, is, where, Bromley look quite bad. Even... Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're awful. Awful at football. Um, oh, we've, he's nicked it off him. Right. Look at that. Sterny boy. He's one of the originals. The OGs. Like, you can see why he's one of the OGs. But wait, wait. He's going to pounce? No. Okay. <clears throat> Quite a lot of people have been asking me about um, what I thought of the Champions League draw, real life one. Um, oh, I was in a weird spot. I'm happy with the draw for Liverpool. Very happy. Um, there's part of me that just wanted to play. I wanted to get into the Dortmund Real Madrid group because we're back in the Champions League. And it's like, oh, I just want to play the good teams. I'm not one of those people that's like, yeah, just give us the easiest route into the final, please. Yeah, that'd be great. Nah, fuck it. Let's just play against the biggest teams. That's what the Champions League's all about. So, yeah, it's a good group for us. I would have I would have quite liked, especially Dortmund. Because the Dortmund games were fun last season. All right. Oh, Mandy, you came and you scored no fucking goals. We don't really have much of a backup. In fact, I think got a single player on the bench that plays striker because you know that's logical I could play Emmanuel Thomas up front but um, nobody else can play attacking mid so I'm going to do quite a bit of business in the uh, January transfer window I'm scouting out all the under 21 teams of all the UK countries um, 
to see if we can pick up some little gems. I've, I've built up a little sort of short list. I was, I was thinking about doing a sort of extra special episode, like a longer episode, but we need to get this series up and running. So the next episode will be the usual what we do, which is at the end of the January transfer window, show you the signings, see what magic we did. If there's any particular little gems from the UK that you know of, especially if you can get them relatively cheap, um, that all get transfer listed or have their contracts running out. It don't, even, uh, there's no rule to say the age. We can have any age whatsoever, so that's not a problem. Um, but if there's anybody, you know, cheeky ones out there or running out of contracts, that's a lovely ball forward. Can Mandy do it? Can Mandy do it? He's gone a bit... What? Mm. It's one of those days. Once every four games, this is his game. So I'm telling you, next game, it's going to at least score a brace. I promise you this make stupid promises come on boys they've had one shot why haven't we scored too many long shots too many long shots um it's like shit for shit isn't it this these subsies subsies shit for shit shit for shit shit for shit it's nice not worrying about my ex players you know the players that they're not first teamers. They're not even on the bench. They're there just in case you have injuries or cup games or whatever. And it's nice not giving a flying fuck about them because they're never going to get games. Any time any of them say, oh, I want more games, I just say, fuck off then. Kind of my rule now. Just fuck off. And they're like, oh, no, actually, no, I, I love not playing football. Can I stay, please? Mandy's offside. 6.2. little ripple for Mandy. It's a convincing 1-0. If, if there's such a thing as that. Um... Oh, oh, Stern. Oh, that's just, just got me hopes up then, mate. Well, that was an interesting game. <clears throat> As somebody said in the comments, oh, what do we say? Oh, move on, lads, move on. Somebody said in the comments about the stadiums, because the stadiums have to be seated in a certain size for the Premiership, I think 12,000 or something, that at the end of the season, the board automatically upgrades the stadium to that amount. So we'll see if that happens for us. Okay. He makes his debut and then wants to discuss club matters. Um. <laughs> this is not... Okay, just if you're a young footballer out there, upon making your debut in professional football... Don't then have a whinge at the manager for being harsh in a team talk. Oh, we get tech, yeah, get twenty grand. Not crazy. Don't don't piss me off. Do not piss me off. Right on to the Gateshead game where Mandy is going to score a brace. Right here we are, second game. First things first. You know the guy that whinged. Already sold. Then I realised I better be careful because they might not give me any money. And if they don't, that's going to be a tad awkward. Um, so, but let's have a look at the uh, conference. That's not the right fucking button, is it? Um, Liverpool still top by 11. Oh, God, they got four games in hand. Jesus. Okay. It's not quite as special as I'd... Oh, don't, don't fuck it up, Liverpool. Right. Um, let's have a look and see. So the, the clubs are still rich, which we expected. It wasn't going to happen this season, I don't think. Um, what about sort of some of the smaller clubs, like the Hull Finance is okay. So West Ham are still rich. Let's have a look at Stokey Cokey. Okay. So they're starting, the smaller clubs are starting to struggle a little bit without that TV money that keeps them afloat. Um, what's... Um, let's have a look at some of these attendances i want to see if they're still they should be i imagine still make yeah so they're they're gonna still max out their attendance because remember they've still got massive reputation and stuff so and big fan bases so they're still maxing out their attendance but we're coming for you lads yeah we're coming for you so far this is my player shortlist um there's a few foreigners in there because we'd added some before this is my short list of of England young English players. We've we've yet to do the other countries yet. Um, we'll get rid of the the foreigners. I didn't mean it in that way. Right. Okay. Second game. This is where Mandy is going to be special. All right. I told you. Just needed a game off. 
just to get his composure back. Um, how's me lefty doing? How's Muggles doing? Muggles is playing really well, so we'll keep him on. Um, I don't have enough substitutes. Brilliant. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Backline's doing great. Goalkeeper's doing all right. Um, Gareth Evans, go on then. No, fuck it. You were shit. The rest is all the same. Sort of picks itself, these guys. Nine assists now for Emmanuel Thomas, which is pretty good. Right, here we go. Mandy Brace, all day long. And then we're going to ask the board for more money. They've just given me a new contract, or they're just about to give me a new contract, which is good. Um, prove a point. Some description. That's why these stands look empty, because that's the standing bit, and you can't have standing in the Premiership. So that's that's why that's there. Okay. Right, Mandy's going to be scary good. You just watch. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Kalachan has been sent off, I think, a couple of times already this season. He's got previous, as they say. Right, Martin Brundle with a free kick. I went through my wall magically. Okay. I just want to say a massive thank you to three or two brand new Patreons and another guy. Uh, firstly, Andrew Stallard, thank you very much for becoming a patron. I think I gave you a live shout out, but you got a double double there. Gary Kirkwood, thank you very much for the $20. That means you're in the tier to get your name picked for my other uh, series and stuff. Kalachan, Gus, Mr. Reliable, he's applauding himself. <laughs> and Roasted Johnson, thank you very much for upping your pledge, you absolute superstar, mate. You've been a long-term subscriber and supporter of this uh, channel, so thank you, buddy. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. It's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right. Don't worry. Mandy's just brewing, right? Brewing up. Look, 6.7. Destroying it. There's people already in the comments. I see the comments is like Eastley's fan base. And like, you know, the Eastley football forums, if they even have a forum. Mandy. I thought that was going in. I was so sure. Okay. That was just a, you know, tester, you know, range finder. Um, yeah. And the fan base have started to turn already on Mandy. Everybody's like, oh, upgrading me shit. So he needs a good performance, especially in a video. Otherwise, you guys are turning on him. <clears throat> All right. Come on, boys. Just watch, though. Mandy's... Don't worry about it, lads. Don't worry about it. He's going to come good. Go on, nick it off him. Yes, Johnson. There he is. Welcome. Mandy. Lovely run. Lovely ball. Emmanuel Thomas. Go on. Oh, that's a special finish. An assist for Mandy, right? That's there. Good start. We're off. That was a lovely finish, though, to be fair. Beautiful. Beautiful, as Bernard Matthews once said. He's dead now, isn't he, Bernard Matthews? Foreign people are like, what the f who the fuck is Bernard Matthews? He used to make turkeys, not literally, not like from Lego. He used to make turkey products. Oh, we've got a fucking tangent of the history of the Bernard Matthews brand. Right. <clears throat> Here we go. Counter attack. Here we go. Johnson, lovely Muggles to Strevens. To Magoma. Oh, it's like Barcelona at their peak before they were quite shit. Magoma. Lovely run forward. He's looking for Mandy. No, he's not. Unless there's somebody called Mandy in the crowd. There you go, love. Oosh. Right. Muggles. With a long throw. Flicked on. Oh, go on. Back into the box. Edge of the area. On the volley. Or, or just header it back to the goalkeeper. <clears throat> also, if you, I'm, I am going to keep talking about this. National Video Game Arcade on the 16th of September. Um, I'm doing my first ever fan meet. We're doing a thing with Lelujo called the FM Creators Day. There's a, bun there's a bunch of other FM creators coming along as well. Um, and you can come along in Nottingham. Uh, there's a link in the description to all the details about it. You can book your tickets online. The National Video Game Arcade is like the science museum for video games. <sighs> Keep it covered. Um... Yeah, it's just a really fun place to hang out and play loads of random video games and stuff. And we'll probably do some stuff afterwards, go for a kickabout or something, go for a meal, maybe go and get really drunk. But I'd love it if you come and hang out with us. Um, let me know in the comments if you've already booked your place or you're coming along. That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, even if you don't want to come along to the NBA bit, you can always come along afterwards and hang out with us and stuff like that. Me and Lulu Joe and uh, plus others. I think Rich on Twitch just confirmed, semi-confirmed today. Um, he said he'll try and make it along, so that'd be cool. 
yeah, so I'd really appreciate it. I just, I, I'm just going to keep talking about it because I'm so scared that nobody's going to turn up. So I will, I will. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep talking about it, make sure at least one person turns up that's not related to me. Oh, Dwight York out of retirement and weirdly painting his face white. All right. We're on top of this game. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Right, it's playing a 6.8, Mandy. Second half, brace. Um, keep it up. Let's just positive vibes, people. Let's no, keep it control. I did. I, I did actually think it was one all there. I forgot it was two one. It's fine. All right, Michael Bolton with a clearance from left back. Emmanuel Thomas. Ngonch. Ngonch by name. Ngonch by nature. Right. I don't think that means anything. Right. Go on. Go on, Sterny boy. Decent ball in. Mandy! Yes! What a finish. World class left peg from Mandy there. He's giving it some of this as well. <laughs> right. There's one. There's one, people. He's still got 45 minutes to score the second. Look at this finish, cultured. Oh, look at that. Right in the corner. Definitely. All right. You're all steady on. Steady on. Emmanuel Thomas. Look at that work rate. Look at that work rate in action. Strevens. Decent ball to Kalachan. Lovely to Magoma. Can he find his buddy? Or is he just going to go it alone? He's going to go it alone. He doesn't need anyone. Superb goal for Magoma. That's number 12 of the season from a winger. Not bad indeed. It's 4-1. There's a bunch of people said Magoma was going to be the man. And I think you've proven right. He's probably the player of the season so far. Right, after this game, we're going to ask for money. Fif 15 million. Come on. At least 10 but give me 15. Because if we give me 15, I could put 5 million into wages and 10 to spend on players. Oh, oh okay, it's fine. Cabulet, oh, go on, Big Willy. Something. There we go. All right. See, Mandy left that cleverly, right? Not not Nathan cleverly. All right, Stern again. He's actually doing all right for us, Sterny. I've got to stop saying that. He just loses. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, my word. Oh, it's like Pele in his prime, that was. Apart from that bit at the end. But the other stuff was was great. All right. Bolton. Oh, it's a hoof ball. It's West Brom. Oh, York again. Keeper. Not a very big willy, was it? It's quite a small willy. Let's not lose this, yeah? Just a punt over the top. Yorked around to it. Most people are saying strengthen the spine, which I totally agree with. Centre-backs are priority. Centre-backs, central midfielders are main priority. We, the rest of it's pretty decent now. All right, Kalashan. There's, there's space in the middle. Trevens is there waiting for it. Hiding behind the ref. Lovely. Magoma. Thread. Give it to Mandy. Or just or just score. You know. You know. It's up to you, mate. You can do what you like. And it's 5-2 at, I don't know what the stadium's called, Spitfire Stadium. It's <clears throat> a good goal from him, though. He is, he is a special player. That's his hat-trick as well. All right. Come on, Mandy. We've scored five goals. Get a brace, son. Get a brace. Uh, Glenn Johnson wins a header. Just pointing that out. Nice, Emmanuel Thomas. Mandy, all alone. What's he, look, look at this magic. Beautiful. Kalachan. Kalachan. Find Mandy. Find Mandy. Find anyone in a blue shirt. All right. Oh, that's just dreadful. Oh, Mandy's pounced. Mandy's pounced. He's only got a ginger to beat, but he's passed across. One, two. He's, oh, God. Oh. He just, he's just joking with us. He knows he's going to get a brace. He's just messing about with us. He's just adding a bit of, oh, is he going to make it? Is he going to do it? Lovely ball out, though, to be fair. Stern, there's, we've got man at the back post. He's cutting inside. Who's there? Oh, it's Kalachan. Stole it off Mandy, then. Stole it. We'll take it, Kalachan. You can have that, mate. You're applauding nobody. Um, 
He's gone to the... <laughs> just that steward there in the corner. Hooray, steward, steward. Right. Stern fires it across. Three players could have scored there. Look, Mandy was ready. I, if I could click on him. Right, he's going to get the hat trick. We're going to attack him. This is Mandy's goal type. Oh, for fuck's sake. How can we lose throw-ins so often? Calachon. Manuel. There it is. Here it is, people. Goal time. Mandy. Indeed, bullshit button. You are correct. Um, all right, Magoma can come off. Stand innovation. Um, probably should take him off as well. A goal and two assists for Kalachan. <clears throat> right, come on. <laughs> I'm getting a bit panicky. Mandy. <laughs> to be fair, he has had a good, decent game. A goal and an assist, not too bad. But I did promise a brace. He's not going to do it, is he? Just to spite me. Here it is. Here it is. Still time, people. Still time. That's not the highlight. This is the highlight. Mandy picks it up. Just creating for funsies. McLeod. Oh, shit tits. It's fine. Don't fudge up the back pass. Come on. we still got a minute left. This could still be a goal. Here we go. Mc Every time it's him as well. Every time. All right, Johnson clears. McLaughlin. Johnson. There's so many Johnsons about it. It's like a big fucking cock fest. Yes, big willy. Doesn't look like we're going to get the brace. We'll take it. Goal and assist. Close enough. It was a good game. <clears throat> All right. Decent. Come on, boys. 6-2, though. We take it, though, as, a, as an overall scoreline. Complaining. Glenn Johnson. What a legend. What a legend. Said no one ever. <sighs> right, that'll do, boys. Right. Time to ask the board for some money. Have you all got your guesses in? Right. I can't see why they wouldn't. Oh, look, see? Set for his goal bonus, because that's how good he is. Um, we better say he was quite good, because, yeah. Because the fact is, right, we've got a shit ton of money. We're top of the league. Please. Please. Here we go. <sighs> oh, no! Oh no! It's because I in the in the press conference video, which if you haven't watched it, go watch a press conference. It took me ages to do that. Go watch it. It's funny. Um, it's not our financial fair play day, is it? Oh no! I didn't think about that. No, but it's the money the club makes, isn't it? Financial fair play is about basically the owner. Putting in extra money so you can't just have a rich sugar daddy. We still can. But theoretically, it's to stop rich owners putting loads of money into the club, running at a loss, but just to buy amazing players. We're making money from the TV. Maybe it's just because it's not included in this budget. Oh, no, that's annoying. What about wages? Yes. Okay, wages. How much? Hundred grand. How much of that can I put into transfer? Okay, okay. We we can squeak out a player or two here, people. I reckon maybe a, a, one central midfielder and one centre back. I think would would do the job nicely. Okay, we got somewhere. I bet nobody guessed a million pound. <laughs> no, the 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 result was zero. I bet a few people guessed zero. Oh, that's good. Mind you, next season. They are going to give us so much money to splurge everywhere. Oh, Right, so make sure you join me for next episode because it will be a brand new transfer roundup episode with some hopefully exciting signings. I've got a couple of... What am I doing this for? A couple of... Like an evil genius. I've got a couple of signings in my back pocket that I shall reveal to you, hopefully, if if they all don't say no. Maybe I might try and get loanies in... Um, 
another you know another loney as well there's a couple of good players that i saw on the loan list but thank you very much for joining me guys hope you enjoyed the episode leave a like that would help me out marvelously watch the ads because then i'll get monies and i like money i can buy things like this extravagant giant tub of polos because you know just a tube of polos <laughs> that's for idiots this is a tub for twice the price right Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. <clears throat> right, that's working. Okay. <clears throat> <coughs> right, Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. <coughs> right, are you ready? Are we recording? Okay. <coughs>